Another fantastic new feature in the Muse 2014 release is the ability for you to use in-browser editing anywhere. What this means is uh, with the last version of Muse, you could use in-browser editing as long as you were hosting on Business Catalyst. And I'll show you what in-browser editing looks like if I just jump to the browser here. So I'm actually within the in-browser editing screen. And as you can see, when I mouse over, let's say this text block here and click edit, I can actually change the text in here click publish and then it's live on the site. So this is a way that you can give your customers the ability to change simple content, things like menus or daily specials without needing you to actually do it in the views file. You can now use in browser editing even if you're not hosting on Business Catalyst, but the workflow is a little bit different for it. I'll show you how it works. So let's open up a site here and if we weren't hosting with Business Catalyst, we would probably upload using the file and upload to FTP host. So let's click that. Okay, so once you've got your FTP information entered into this box, we can just click OK and let's just ignore this error for now and what Muse is going to do is going to publish up this site to that specific folder on your FTP. So we'll give it a second to do that, it shouldn't take long. Okay, there you go. So now that this is done, we have this link below that says the content of the site can be edited in a web browser. Try in browser editing here and it gives us this link. If you click on this link, it goes to a third party site and it's actually in browser editing.com. So within this page, this is where you'd enter in your domain. So for example, you know, www.musethemes.com and you click start editing and it brings you to an editing window much like you'd see if you were editing directly from within BC. So you can give your clients this page to log into and they can edit their site themselves without needing to go back to the original designer. When you open up the Muse site and they've actually made edits remotely to the site, you're going to be given a prompt that says changes have been made. Do you want to sync them back to your Muse file? And you can actually force a sync by clicking file and sync with web version. So if we do that, what it's going to do is it's going to run through the web version and just make sure that your working file and your remote version on the web are the same. And right now it says sync complete, no changes detected. I obviously didn't make any changes to this site. I think it's a great new feature because many clients don't want to have to change their hosting platform over to be able to use content management features. And this way you can just use their existing host without any massive changes. Thanks again and stay tuned for more.